welcome to the next program on python programming series so in this video we are going to discuss about functions so uh, this is a uh, maybe a 20th video in the python series lectures so in our previous videos we have seen how to write a program to take the user input and to create a list so as long as the user is uh, entering the inputs we should take and create a list find the minimum and maximum numbers and uh, uh, show the same on the output screen so we have seen that program and uh, today we are going to discuss about functions so if you have not seen those videos please guys check the playlist you can find the link for all those videos okay so uh, coming to today's topic that is functions so why it is very important for us to use functions and how the functions are defined and how we are going to write a program for function so these three topics i'm gonna talk today okay so coming to the first uh, topic let us say that is what is function so this is the basic basic element in python programming a function is a block of code that takes information that is inputs or i can say parameters and does some computation or calculation inside the function block with the help of those input parameters and gives you a output that will be a new information based on the body of the function so it will just take some inputs do some calculations and then it will give a output to you and you can ask what is special in functions the special thing about function is that you can call it as many times as you want and it can do the calculations once you have written the code so basic motivation behind writing the function is to reduce the size of the code or to reduce the complexity of the code suppose for example you have written a thousand line program so which is used for some basic application okay and uh, inside that you have a, a 500 line one function that is basically a one set of code or a one block of code which gives a particular output so it will give a output called let us say sum so it has got a, a 500 lines okay so uh, if you want to calculate sum for different types of elements then there is no need to write that code again and again in your program you just write it once and you can call that function with the help of only one statement so as many times as you want you can call that function with the only one line so you can see a ratio 500 is to 1 so if you don't use functions then you need to write that program again and again so it will take again and again 500 lines 500 lines so but to avoid that one we are using function so if you use function then it will take only one line okay so you can see a huge difference of 499 lines here so this is just an example it could be up to 1000 lines as well so that uh, so that makes the function very important in python programming so if you want to become a python programmer then you should learn functions so without functions there is no python programming okay so you can write basic programs like addition subtraction multiplication of two or two three bits like this you can write without functions but if you want to go for any real world application or if you want to do some mini project on python or if your project is based on python then i must recommend you you should learn python uh, that is functions in python programming that is very important that's for sure okay so enough motivation i have told i am enough about what is mean by function and why you should learn all right move on so the function starts with a keyword def so in python the keyword which is used to define the function is def and followed by the function name and parameter so you can see in syntax it is starting with the def and this is the function name this is user defined and you can give anything of your choice so that is left to the user and it will be taking parameters here that is the parameters which will be acting as the input for this function and the block the code block within a function begins after a colon that comes after the parenthesis enclosing the parameters so the main body of the function will be starting after this colon so as you can see at the end of definition of function we should write a colon here and this is the optional uh, block that is document string so this will basically uh, tell about uh, the function purpose of function so what is mean by function or 
rather i can say uh, what is the purpose of writing this particular function here it will say so whether it is the addition subtraction or something else uh, basically it will tell uh, what is the purpose of writing this function then this is the function suit or i can say function body so here we will be writing the uh, different types of computations which you need to do with the help of this function and last one is the return expression so uh, the, this one will be default just return and if you want to return something particularly then you should mention it in a square bracket so return let us say sum then you can write sum here so like this you can return a particular value so this is a uh, somewhat theory about functions and uh, as uh, i have said earlier there are lot of uh, applications for function as well so now i will show you in python programming how to write the function so uh, if you are new to the channel please guys hit the like button and subscribe the channel because we will be uploading python programming related videos continuously and will be soon uploading the mini projects for students so that is uh, some real world applications where you can use python and do amazing projects there okay so let us move to the python uh, shell here so i am using the latest version of python that is 3.8.3 and now i will open a new file so let us say new file so it has been opened a new file now i will write a code which will be used to add two numbers so uh, before that i will uh, let me just write uh, uh, another program so another uh, another definition that is function so i will write def that is to define keyword and uh, the name of the function is print me so this is the name of function and the input which it will be taking is the string so it is taking input string and i will put a colon here then uh, in uh, strings i will write this function prints the input string so it is optional guys you can write or if you want to leave you can leave okay so there is no need to write this one or it is not a compulsory then i will write print so i will write string so whatever the string it will be taking it should print that one so i have written that one then it should return the value so i will write return okay so uh, that's it i will write return now so i will just save this one and uh, before that now i have let me just save this one let us say m m is the value of this one and once you have saved this program now you should call this function until now we have defined the function so it's time to call the function so uh, you should write first the function name that is print me is the function name and the input which is given to this one is uh, let us say this is um, this is the uh, first uh, first time i am calling the function so this is first time i am calling the function all right so i'll just write like this and as you can see i have given the definition that is a function name and i have given the input so as you can see string here it is in general format so instead of string it will replace this is the first time i am calling the function it will take okay so i will just save pressing control s then i will run this one so now you can see this is the first time i am calling the function it is returning so uh, if i change this one then it will change a ret function so let me just change this one and i will put say i will just print a here then it should return me a a a a okay so let me just run this one so now you can see it is returning a a a a so whatever you will be giving as a input here you can change so there is no need to change this code now if you change here then the automatically the code will be changed okay so like this it will save your time so this uh, this will be more more clear when i give a example on addition so let me just delete this one so i will take now the example on addition so uh, let me just take an example on addition so def that is define i will give the name of the addition itself so addition and the parameters it will be taking is uh, a b so before that let me just write uh, 
to code guys so if you want to add three numbers a b c okay this will make you more clear so i how i can write a equal to 2 then i will take b equal to 2 then i will take c equal to 2 and then i will initialize sum equal to 0 and then i will say c uh, let me just write sum equal to a then plus b and c so then i will write uh, print okay so the sum of numbers is so the sum of numbers is and i will write here uh, sum let me just write sum here okay so this is how you are uh, you will be writing a program which will add the three numbers a b c let me just run this one so that you can understand so as you can see the sum of numbers is six here so it is showing six so uh, no i don't want the addition of uh, two 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 so i want to change the numbers so how you can do uh, so again if you want to change the numbers then you can you have to edit here so if you want to make it four or else you can do it like this eight and you can do it six okay and again you have to press the control s and then save then run module so it is showing me some uh, syntax error here oops so it is coming here so the parenthesis should be here so that it, it will end let me just save this one and run again so now you can see the sum of the numbers is 18 so it is showing me now the sum is 18 so instead of changing each and every time this is only th two three line program which is a uh, very short to change but if instead it is a hundred lines of program then you need to find out all the variables and change the values of those variables and it will be just like a static program so whatever you will be assigning a equal to 6 b equal to 8 and c equal to 4 it will be just added up and given so you can't write you, it can't be a general program where a will take any value b will take any value and c will take any value and it will give you the sum uh, according to that one so it is not the case for this type of programs so instead of writing like this if you go for using functions then you can uh, make you make use of functions and uh, particularly do that general purpose addition so how we can do let me just show you so i will uh, delete this one now so now i will write the same program with the help of definition that is function so i will write define and i will write addition and then uh, the parameters which will be uh, entered for this one will be a comma b comma c so these are the three parameters which will be acting as an input for this one so now uh, let me just write a comment here saying that uh, this is the uh, let me just write function for adding three numbers okay so this is the doc string that is documentation for the uh, function and then i will write uh, let us say sum is equal to a plus b plus c so same thing i will be writing but instead of uh, writing it in a conventional way i will be writing with the help of function here then i will write return so this is the definition of function now i have defined the function so as you can see I, after i write return it is coming directly to this part okay so now what i will do call the function so i will write uh, addition so i will write addition and give the inputs to a is to b is to and c is to so same program i have written and uh, here i have to print the uh, output so i will write print um, the sum of numbers is and i should print here sum okay that is the definition so i missed print statement there so now you can see i have defined here and i am calling it here so i will just press ctrl s and now i will try to run this one so as you can see the sum of numbers is six so you can ask what is great in this one so uh, previously also i have got sum as 6 and now also i am getting sum as 6 but there is a difference so 
uh, instead of 222 i want the numbers to be something else then without changing here that is instead of changing here or uh, i can change uh, itself change here itself so i can give first one 12 second one 12 and third one 12 and i will write control s then i will run this one so now you can see it is showing me 36 and similarly if i change this to the 124 and i will press control s and again run this one so now it is showing 148 so within one line you just have to make the changes here so you just have to make the changes here then those changes will be made in this program accordingly so like this they if it is a 100 line program then you, there is no need to change each and every line in that one you just change the input parameters here automatically the functionality in the definition or the function will be changed so this is the main advantage which uh, we should uh, come in our mind whenever you are using the function and that's the basic basic idea behind uh, uh, the idea of the programmers to uh, uh, bring the functions into picture okay so that's about a beautiful example on how to use functions to write the code optimally so you can uh, write many things like uh, so uh, what uh, so i'm i'm just show you i will just show you some uh, type of errors which will be occurring so if i just don't mention anything here and i will uh, leave it as it is and if i try to run what do you expect what will be the uh, error uh, which is uh, thrown by the system so comment me below okay so i will just run this one and now you can see uh, uh trace back most recent call that is uh, the location where it is stored and a line that is 11 so type error is addition missing three required positional arguments a b and c so it is clearly saying that you are missing three arguments which are defined in the function that is a b and c so the clear meaning of this one is to you have not given the input parameters and you are expecting the output so that is not possible okay so this will show an error like this and if you uh, give only two parameters what it will do what you, what you guess just comment below okay so then i will run this one so now it is showing that addition missing one required potential argument c so it is telling that you have given a b but you are missing the c so like this uh, it will throw an error if you do some mistake in giving the input parameters okay so you can uh, take different examples uh, like this so i will just write uh, one more so that it will be very uh, clear for us to how to define the function so i will just define a function def and uh, i will uh, try to print the name and age here so i will give it as a name age a definition or the function name and it is taking two arguments name is the first argument and the second one is the age okay i will put a colon then uh, i will just write a comment here this function will print the name and age of a person okay oops i missed o here the name and age of a person okay so i will close this one so then i will write here so print so first i want to print the age okay so i will write the name of the person is so i will uh, put a equal to here and i will write let us say a name here so that it will be printing the name then i will go for printing the age so i will write the age of the person is so i will write equal to and i will give a parameter age and then i will write a return here so that it will return the values and i will just call this one name and age so this is the function name and let us say name is let me just write mike and age is 35 so i will enter this one press control s that is to save and then i will just run this one so now you can see the name of the person is mike and the age of the person is 35 
so you have taken two input parameters name and age and it is giving as a output so what if i change the order of name and age so let me just uh, show you what will happen so i will first give the age and then i will give the name here so same thing but just i am reversing so it is uh, the input parameters are in the order name and age but now i am giving age and name so it is reverse so what do you think what will happen what kind of error it will throw or it will execute or it will give the correct answer so what do you think you just comment me guys okay so now i will uh, execute so let me just save this one and i will run this one so now you can see the name of the person is 35 and the age of the person is mike so it is uh, reverse uh, reverse it is showing so the name of the person is 35 it is showing and the age of the person is mike it is showing because you have reversed the string here so it is taking first one as the name that is 35 as the name it is taking and age is uh, taken as mike so the input should be in order with the output so it will throw or uh, it will not throw an error basically it will give the wrong result so this is all about the function in python programming and different types of examples which you can think of in uh, writing in the python programming or so that is using the function and i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe the channel because we will be uploading the python related programs continuously and uh, we will be soon uploading the projects that is mini projects like how to uh, make a, a real communication between your mobile phone and the uh, python shell here so you will be writing a code in python and you will be receiving some messages to your gmail or to your registered mobile number so you can create a chatbot actually with the help of smtp library or a socket and server communication so uh, these are the some of um, mini projects which you can do uh, with the help of python so that will actually uh, increase your knowledge in the field of practical things so we'll be uploading those type of videos uh, uh soonly so we are currently working on those things only so uh, so that i'm advising you to subscribe the channel and if you like the content please guys give a thumb it will make us happy thank you thanks for watching